What's happening guys, to hear the story of what happened to my face a year ago, stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. I got diagnosed with a really bad skin condition and it put me in hospital for two weeks and they two weeks happened to be Christmas and New Year. That's me fully open to my eyes. What's happening guys, welcome back. So, a year ago today, I had a problem with my face. Now, some of you that have been a subscriber for a while, have, would have seen the video, time for a fresh start. Uh, if you're close to me, friends and family, you obviously were there during it. But I still get a lot of people asking me what actually happened. So I thought I would talk about the story of actually how my face got to be from this to that. So basically what had happened is, I've always suffered from eczema, I've got eczema now. So basically in the winter time my eczema starts to get really bad and then I get called, then I get what's called hacks. So hacks are when the skin dries up so much, they crack and it's a bit gruesome but the, you start to get exposed skin and cuts and stuff. So basically it was a bad winter and I had had that on my eyelids. Now. I was itching one day and I don't know what it was, it was just really extremely itchy. So I've obviously been itching and the pores and the cuts and the cracks I've obviously been more exposed and got bigger and bigger until one day I was uh, I went to my work and I just, I, every time I moved my eyes it was just really sore and it was inflamed and I remember going and picking my girlfriend up that night and it was still itching away until one day I woke, up, I woke up and I could only open one of my eyes and the rash was really really big around my face. So then I was like okay I might need to go and get this checked out. So I was at work and I thought no no I need to go home now. So I went home and I went straight to the doctors. The doctor said I had a skin infection. So I was like alright that's not the worst thing. So they gave me some, uh, some steroid cream and a couple of pills to take to calm it down. That was on the Wednesday. Now, when I woke up on the Thursday, I couldn't open, I, I could only just open both eyes. Like, I could open it, but they were swollen and everything. I thought, alright, oh, something's definitely wrong here. That day, I spent the full day with ice packs on my face, rubbing cream in, just trying to get on top of it. And then on the Friday, when I woke up, my dad and my stepmom and my girlfriend said, that's enough, you're going to hospital. I'm not really one for going to hospital, I'm terrified of hospitals. I will do anything I can to stay away, but I knew that I had to go. So we went to the hospital, but then when the doctor started asking me questions and he looked closer, he started to notice that it wasn't sepsis, but he was reckoning it was a form of eczema. Now, I can't pronounce the word, but I'll give it a try. So what he thought it was, was eczema herpet herpeticum. <laughs> Should I just Google Translate this? So the way she said it is eczema herp... <laughs> herp... <laughs> eczema herpeticum. Eczema herpeticum. And I said, so what does, what does that include? And they said, well basically, it's caused by the, the virus that's in a cold sore. So I said, that could make sense because somebody close to me has had a cold sore recently. So they reckon that the virus of the cold sore had got in my eyes. Now, that wasn't the most uncommon thing, but usually you get it, like, you actually get the virus, but around your body it's very common in babies. It can actually kill babies though. But I'd got it in the cracks in my eyes, which had done that damage to my face. Now, it came down to the top of my chest but then it like created a line 
So it stopped dead, which was extremely weird. Obviously all this happened to my face, and then the doctor said, right, well, we're going to have to put you to the dermatology ward, which was in a different hospital, the Western General. So, obviously me being afraid of hospitals, I was terrified because I was going to have to stay the night. But when we first got told, we thought it was just going to be the night and stuff like that. Now this is, well, what are we, the 22nd. This is a year ago to the day, so, you know, we're three days out from Christmas. And I've been told I'm about to go to the hospital. So I get to the hospital bed and I didn't know what to do so I just jumped in, got into pyjamas and then they started putting, injecting me with stuff and getting drips into me and then I knew that something was pretty serious. So I've obviously started to panic even more and then one day goes past. I spent six hours a drip, six hours a day on drips, They're like half an hour here, an hour there and then another day goes past another day and obviously you get the horrible news that you're going to be in over Christmas which is not nice but the good thing is I had all my family around me and friends so I was never I was never lonely people were bringing in food for me but the thing is I actually couldn't eat the food because I had ulcers everyone gets them but I had several you may be talking six to eight ulcers in my mouth so every time I chewed it was like chewing on sandpaper it started to heal I got sent up to the eye the eye hospital and I was reading, I, had to, I, get, I used to have to get iodine in my eyes to see if there was any cuts and see if my eyes had been damaged. But luckily enough, I came back with more than 20-20 vision, which was amazing. I was really happy. And then I started to get more tests, so they were looking at different parts of my body to see if this bacteria virus had got into my blood system. I got my heart tested, and it was really, really serious. And then just after, over time, it started to... It just started to get better and it started to heal, but with appropriate medicine, I started to get better. So then I got let out, and after I got let out, I couldn't drink, it was New Year's, so it was horrible. And <laughs> I still had to go back in every, every day for a week after I got out, just to get injections. It just shows you that something as little as a cut could potentially turn to be something much different. So anyway guys. I just thought I'd give you a quick update of how my face actually looked like this. As you can see, I'm all healed now. So thank you very much for watching my video. I just wanted to clarify what actually happened to my face. I'm totally fine now, as you can see. And yeah, I'm happy enough. Unfortunately, this Christmas is going to be much the same. I can't really do much, but plenty of Christmases to do what I want after this. As always, guys, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. See ya.